think we're about uh, we're we're about to get into it, in my view of what is the third generation of the use of technology to uh, to attract uh, to attract talent. In fact, it was funny this morning on my drive here. I stopped at uh, at Specialties to get a to get a quick breakfast, and uh, was wearing a Workday shirt. And uh, the person behind the counter said, "I love Workday. Here's what I'm able to do. Here's what I'm able to see. I'm a big, you know, big, big fan of the product." And so, you know, we do enable uh, workers around the world to to uh, to to enable their careers, to help them do learning, to find new roles, to find new jobs. And so, you know, for for us, it's a it's a bit of of both end. I really think that technology is playing an increasingly important role. Uh, for me, what it allows us to do is to really automate uh, activities so that we can elevate what uh, what is human and what 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 we want to do from a personal connection perspective. And so, I actually think we're we're still actually only at the beginning of the journey of how technology uh, can enable people to be successful, can predict the types of of learning that they need. So, at Workday, as an example, we use uh, the context sensitivity of Workday, we know that people are either moving into a new role or they've just joined the organization or that maybe they have a new people leader. Uh, they move to a new location and we're actually able to curate content to them based on what's context specific. I personally believe that we are uh, nine years into the third age of human capital management, and it is actually what is generating the third age of human capital management are three fundamental things. Uh, the first is the democratization of work and how the nature of work will change based on technology. The second is context-sensitive technology, those things that we experience from a consumer perspective, all the digitalization of work. And the third is worker experiences, as we think about our millennials and our Gen Zers. And so I actually think these all come together to really define this once in a generation, if not a once in a lifetime opportunity to shape this third age of human capital management. Ultimately, I think uh, you know the good works that have been, been done around customer experience for so long has now finally found its companion around employee experience. And that really is, I think, the virtuous cycle that, uh, at least at Workday, we truly believe that happy employees equal happy customers. And so we are looking to fuel that virtuous cycle to say, the better job that we can do to create a remarkable experience for our employees, the more satisfied our customers are. The more satisfied our customers, the more successful our business is, and then our employees want to work, they want to innovate, they want the opportunities to work on exciting things. So that really becomes this exciting flywheel, I believe, that will, will really identify you know, what's the future, the future of work. When we enable our employees' success, when we create uh, what we would call remarkable employee experiences, what we know is that that uh, aids in retention. We actually see that in our data very, very clearly. Uh, and so our ability to grow our business is, is fundamentally based on having an amazing experience that allows us to retain our folks. Uh, thinking about how we accelerate people's success onto new teams in our organization enables innovation and growth. Creating a psychologically safe environment, a place where people can be their authentic selves, where we can invite diverse opinions uh, into the situation, uh, ab absolutely fuels innovation.